me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 37 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add electric traps. As you can see, I'm already inside of a map. Let me hit the power. And here's one of the traps. Working perfectly. And you move over here. And here's another one. Of course, you have a switch on both sides. And let me hit that one. And there's the other. All right, now that you guys see that it works, let's head over to your GSE file. And let's implement this into your map. Okay, guys, now that we're back over at the desktop, it's time to implement this into your map. Now, if you go to the video description, there's going to be a download of a text document. It's going to say Uptown's Traps Tutorial. If you open this up, it's going to be all the steps you need to do to implement this into your map. Now, if anything, I'm going to walk you guys right through this. Now, let's open up our root folder for Black Ops 3. And we're going to navigate to User Maps. You're going to pick the map that you're going to implement this into. In my case, I'm going to use Uptown. And you're going to go over to Scripts. You're going to go into ZM. And you're going to see these two files here, GSC and CSC, for the map that you're implementing. Now, we're going to open up the GSC file first. There we go. Let me move it over to the right. And now, let me open up the text information. And here it is, first step, add this to your map name.gsc under the last at using scripts above function main. Now we're going to copy this. And this is the at using scripts. You want to go to the last one. There it is, right over here. It's usually right above main, so you're going to paste that in right there. All right, that part is done. Now add this in function main under zm underscore user maps dot dot main. So we're going to copy this part. And here it is, your function main. And this is the part that we have to go right under. So let's make some space. Hit tab, move it over. Paste that in there. Just slide that over if you want. All right, that part is done. Now, add this to the bottom of your map name GSC file. So we're going to copy this part. And we're going to go scroll all the way down to the bottom. And paste that function under there. All right, this part is done. You're going to go to File. You're going to go to Save. Close this one out. And let me go back. And now we're going to open up the CSC file. So we'll click on that. Move this over. All right, so now basically we're going to repeat the same process. The only thing is, is that the first part is going to be different. Instead of it being pre-catch FX that was on the top, it's going to say client FX. So we're on step four. So we're going to copy this part. And same thing, we're going to put it under the last app using. Paste it right under there, right above function main. There we go, that part is done. Now we're going to copy this part. And go into function main. And we're going to put it right under zm underscore user map. So same thing, make some space, paste it in. Move it over if you want. That way it looks cool. And now it's time for the last part. So we're going to copy the last function, step six. And you're going to put it at the end of your map. There we go. All right, hit file, hit save, close it out. OK, guys, now that we're done modifying the GSC file and the CSC file, you're going to open up Radiant. 
navigate to the map that you're adding this to. There we go. Now, just like any regular prefab, you're going to open up your entity browser. Hit B on the keyboard. And then go over to MISC prefab, drop one in. Now, as soon as you go into your prefabs folder, there's going to be another folder that I added called traps. Double click on that. And as you can see, I already made three prefabs for it. So it's going to be trap A, trap B, trap C. Let's add one in. And there it is. I already lined up all the pieces. All you have to do is just drop and go. And let's say if you want to modify it, you would select the prefab, go to prefab on the top, go to enter prefab. And now you can move the pieces around, modify it at will. And let's say if you want to add even more traps to your map, you would just select any item that has a line going through it. Let's say for the red one or the blue, just select it, hit N on the keyboard. And any part that says the trap and then the letter, you would basically want to bump it up. So right now I have A, B, and C. So let's say if you want to add another one, a fourth, that's going to be D or E or F, you would just change the letter. So this one I would change to D, press enter, and just do that to every piece that has a line going through it. That way when you implement it into your map, it'll be a next set for you to use. And that's uh, pretty much it. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.